Well, I just got a little uh, first impressions video. I just got these in the mail. I didn't open them on camera, but uh, yeah, they have been open for, I don't know, half hour maybe. <laughs> so, first up, we got uh, this guy from Jelly Jerry. This is TS219. It probably has a name. I'm not familiar with it, but um, despite the number, uh, these things had just started coming out. And uh, there's a lot I really like about this thing. And uh, I'll get back to it in a bit. The other one here is a TS-308. This is kind of a, a bit smaller than uh, I was anticipating. But I suppose that kind of makes sense as this knife was um, kind of drew up in CAD and uh, kind of helped along by Mazwan Mokhtar. But... It was designed by, um, I guess at the time, uh, around an eight-year-old kid, something like that. Yeah, pretty interesting. Uh, I do like that it's extended out that way. So, even though it is kind of a smaller knife, uh, it's got that nice uh, full four-finger grip for me. Pocket clip doesn't seem to uh, be too bothersome on that thing. It's using uh, Mazwan's kind of ball style thing there, which hey, some people like, some people don't. Interesting that uh, there's no scalloping or uh, other lock bar access sort of thing going on there. Uh, it's easy enough to uh, disengage. Yeah, I do like this thing quite a bit. Pretty neat. All right, back to this guy. Uh, I really, really like the design of this thing. It is very, very comfortable in the hand. Uh, I really, really do appreciate that. And the uh, the blade shape is uh, fairly interesting. We got a nice straight area here, and then a compound grind for a tip, but does come to a, a decent point there too. This is in 14C28N, whereas this is in M390. Just throwing that out there. The pocket clip seems to work quite well, too. Goes in and out of the pocket super nice. So that's great. Uh, let me talk about uh, a couple of things that I've noticed here. First of all, and you probably won't be able to see much of it. But, uh, yeah, I do have just a little tiny bit of um, uh, detent slop going on in here. Haven't really experienced that from too many uh, Tucson's before. It's obviously not a big deal. It's not um, super loose. And, uh, yeah, I mean, flicks out super nice. Uh, the other thing that um, is a little concerning, though, and I noticed this after um, cleaning it up and uh, then checking the edge and then doing a couple other things, and you can probably see... Maybe not. Uh, but right at that um, apex here, between uh, the flat and that uh, and the belly, uh, there's a little uh, bald spot, if you will. And that's, uh, unfortunately, if you can see down in there at the bottom, uh, it does have a little tiny bit of blade wrap there, which really sucks. Uh, this one doesn't seem all that severe, something that, uh, a sharpening or so will, uh, probably take care of. And we don't really have any, uh, looseness in there, so it's probably not going to, uh, get worse or anything like that. Kind of like the, uh, the, uh, what, the TS-304? Yeah, the TS-304 head. So there's a lot to like about this thing, but, uh, oh, yeah, you can see just a little tiny bit of it here. Yeah, so that's a little, little sad, but, uh, in general, like I said, this doesn't look to be a, um, a, uh, thing that will, uh, have a whole bunch of, uh, Problems down the line, but yes, you do probably need to uh, sharpen that once or twice just to uh, shorten that up a little tiny bit. 
so that uh, that won't happen. Otherwise, man, yeah, the ergos on this thing are absolutely fantastic. Love that. It has a uh, very late detent, though, as you can see here. It does have a uh, detent ramp because of that. So that's good. And this one has a very early detent. It's right there. This also has a uh, fairly minor um, detent ramp on it, but it's still there. Both neat knives. I do like having both of these in the collection. Uh, yeah, I especially like this kind of thing here. Um, but I've also probably pointed out several other times that um, having that extended part out the back there is uh, quite a bit about what I like about the QFP Parrot and uh, a couple others uh, of that sort. It just, um, it works. Uh, it might not look quite as super nice and curvy as uh, some people probably would prefer. But if that means that it can uh, accommodate larger hand sizes, especially for that um, shorter blade length, which on this guy is uh, yeah, just under three inches, then hey, there you go. Fantastic. Well, this was just um, a quick video that uh, ended up being not quite as quick as I had uh, hoped it was going to be. But, all right, yep, so there we go. We got uh, the TS, um, what? 308 and the TS 219 that um, does have just a little tiny bit of uh, fit and finish problems, but uh, overall, a really fantastic design. So, all right, as always, I appreciate y'all for watching. Have yourself a wonderful rest of your day, yo. Hey, subscribe, please. Hey, hey, just wanted to give an update on this. This is the TS 219 from what I looked at earlier here. And uh, I've gone ahead and uh, given it a sharpen out to uh, 17 degrees per side. And luckily, I can say, even snapping this guy closed, uh, we don't have that blade wrap issue anymore. So it looks like this thing was either just a little tiny bit under sharpened or whatnot, but it's really easy to fix. So this is a little bit more the case that uh, I experienced with the Barracuda and not something like the TS-304, yeah, the TS-304 that um, had problems that uh, even sharpening it wouldn't take care of. This one is great. Still does have just a little tiny bit of uh, um, detent slop or whatnot in there. Uh, that doesn't necessarily bother me, especially because you don't feel it if the blade is down, only if you're uh, messing around with it while it's up. Still, really super comfortable knife. I like it, and now I like it even more that uh, it'll stay sharp at that uh, apex there uh, between the flat and the, uh, the curve. So, hooray! Alright, I appreciate you. This was just an update, so uh, catch you later.